welcome back to my channel if you're new on this channel my name is Chiso and I'm a software engineer and youtuber based in Lagos so today is a story time I recently celebrated one year my one year anniversary as a software engineer although I'm one year and six months now but I just like to do this video to help anybody that might be ch having challenges starting their first job and the things that you should look out for that I might have missed now the first is programming languages programming languages are just a means to an end because you know um, a lot of programming languages doesn't make you a perfect software engineer what makes you a software engineer is the ability to solve problems the ability to think critically and the ability to contribute to a project in a very effective manner programming languages are just tools that you could use i joined microsoft with the knowledge of java and a little bit of kotlin but when i joined microsoft i didn't write java i was writing python i was writing c sharp and all those other tools that i've never used and i found it really really interesting that i adapted to those two you don't need to know all the programming languages but what you just need to know is their use cases and how you can use them to solve a specific problem second is the learning process take your time but try to learn quickly i mean nobody is rushing you but there are some deliverables that might have a higher priority and the tools that you might need to actually take care of those deliverables you might not actually know them things will definitely get easier for you moving forward i remember when i started the things i used to struggle with before i don't struggle with them now and you will definitely face imposter syndrome sometimes i think i did a video of how i overcame imposter syndrome whatever you're learning learn by doing don't spend time watching a lot of tutorials or reading a lot of documentations just try to apply those things as quickly as possible because things will be going like this the third thing i figured out is tech is changing tools are changing frameworks are changing what you use today might be depreciated tomorrow so if you're in the tech space you need to be a lover of new learning you need to be able to learn and unlearn drop your prior knowledge pick up something new ai is booming now in the industry and everybody's looking to get at least some certain kind of form of artificial intelligence skills you need to be staying relevant you need to be learning i need to be doing a lot of research as well the fourth one is the one I'm, i was very guilty of do not suffer in silence if you have something that is bugging you and you do not know how to do it just try and ask somebody and that doesn't mean that you should be dependent on other people to solve your problems no the major part of being an engineer is debugging finding problems and solutions to those problems so if you have a bug and you've identified the bug or the problem that you're facing and you've gone to like the documentation you've gone to like the community to check out what is causing this particular bug and you see yourself wasting time reach out to someone but reach out to the person in a manner that the person sees that you have done your own work and the person knows where to pick up from that particular point the next is work smart but don't work so hard prioritize the tasks that you're meant to do and something that pushes me to work smart is having like an idea of the kind of impact or what i'm working on is making so if i don't have an idea i won't feel so motivated to carry out that task the way i would effectively have conversations with your product manager have conversations with your colleague to actually understand exactly what you're doing six is um take breaks people say work-life balance doesn't exist and i agree with that but you can actually take breaks and have a division between your work life and your personal life it is very very important as much as coding is your passion you should also have other hobbies that you can use to unwind you might be watching netflix you might be cooking it might be going out with your friends but try to take breaks and don't try to overdo the work so you don't get burnt out seventh thing i learned is software engineering is broad and it's not so much of a big word when i was in school and i heard something like software engineering i'm thinking like this is something that is very big i need to have like 10 years of experience before i become a software engineer no software engineering is actually dependent on the company that you're working on and the team that you're working on as well so if you're working any of these things your subsidiary name or your substitute name can be front-end engineer cloud engineer data engineer devops engineer so software engineering is just like a generic term for all these names if you're doing a certain kind of um, software development life cycle next is networking learn how to network learn how to communicate with your colleagues learn how to communicate with people outside of your team or if possible learn how to communicate with people even outside of your company 
thing you're working in the tech space is that once you join a company, a startup or a big tech, you're definitely going to be in the ecosystem of people that are doing amazing things. And you wouldn't want to take that privilege for granted. Next is Git. When I newly joined, I messed up a couple of times with Git commits, Git pushes, and all those things. When I was an Android developer, um, I used special control on a small scale because I was just updating my app. Nobody was working on that app with me. But in a situation where you're working on like legacy code, you're working with like collaborating with people on the same code base, Git is a very powerful tool that you should learn. So I learned Git by taking courses on Git and also learning from my mistakes. Another tip is try to have like career conversations with your superior or your manager. And lastly, enjoy the process. Enjoy everything that comes with the job. Um, try to go for volunteering opportunities if you can. Get the most out of what you're doing and come every day with your best self. This is the end of this video and I hope you had fun watching and I hope you've learned from the mistakes or from my experiences. See you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye!